This man was responsible for the death of up to a million people in Nazi-controlled Croatia. It was one of the worst atrocities of the ethnic cleansing in World War II. His name, Andrea Artukovic, Nazi Minister of the Interior in Croatia. He arrived in Ireland in July 1947. In July 1944, this man commanded an SS unit responsible for some of the bloodiest actions of the German occupation in France. His name, Celestin Lane, commander of the Breton SS militia. He arrived in Ireland in December 1947. This man murdered hundreds of Jews in wartime Poland, often burying his victims alive. Even today, no Jew lives in the villages he visited. His name, Peter Menton, SS Schaffuhrer. He arrived in Ireland in February 1963. In 1945, as a naive 16-year-old, I joined the Royal Air Force and was sent to Burma at the end of the war against the Japanese. On leave in Ireland, we couldn't wear our uniform because of our neutrality, something that irritates me still. When I returned home from the Royal Air Force in 1947, people who were part of the Nazi terror were being allowed into Ireland. Former collaborators and Nazis, some of whom were actually involved in the Holocaust, were seeking asylum in Ireland. And official Ireland seemed to give a greater welcome to Nazis and former collaborators than they did to returning war veterans. Come with me then on my travels as I try to find out who these Nazis were, where they came from, and how they got into Ireland. Rathgar in Dublin is a strange place to begin my hunt for Nazis, but in 1947, this quiet, leafy suburb became the hideaway of the man responsible for the death of up to a million people in wartime Croatia, Andrei Artukovic. In Los Angeles in 1985, Artukovic, now a frail old man, was extradited from the United States to Yugoslavia for war crimes. Over the course of his extradition, it was discovered that Ireland had provided him a safe haven as he fled from Allied justice. Artukovic was one of the architects of the Holocaust. He belonged to a Nazi regime which began the final solution in Croatia even before the Germans began the slaughter of Jews. It was to reach an apex of genocide in places like Auschwitz. I have come to Croatia to learn about his crimes. When the Germans overran Yugoslavia in 1941, they established a puppet state in Croatia for their pre-war allies, the Ustasha party. The Ustasha were a right-wing Catholic group which ruled the Nazi-backed independent state of Croatia between 1941 and 1945. The Ustasha movement was an extreme right-wing nationalist movement which emerged out of the University of Zagreb in the 1930s. And its basic ideology was that it believed in a greater Croatia which would be independent from Yugoslavia and would be cleansed of all racial minorities, um, Gypsies, Jews and especially Serbs. Artukovic was the Minister of the Interior, and he was really in charge of all the internal affairs of the state. Um, he's very, very prominent, for example, in the instigation of the Holocaust in Croatia. In February 1942, um, when the Ustasha...